So hello, my name is Anambin and today I would like to show you an alternative way to handle or to yeah to handle exceptions in JaxOS. So during the um, effective Java online course, um, what I mentioned in the course was uh, exception mappers with um, JaxOS, um, as well as uh, exception and status codes. And uh, if you know that the only endpoint is uh, REST um, JAX or JaxRS, you could even um, do better than this or simpler than this. And to demonstrate how to do, I would like to create a simple Java project and start with, as always, with Maven. I'll call that X for exceptions. Um, so it's just a plain Maven project and then go with um, exceptions resource in this package and the exceptions resource um, is exposed with the path x and now let's uh, be a little bit more realistic so what i would like to do i want to create a boundary let's say uh, arrow service arrow facade and this would be usually an EJB to make it a little bit more complicated and an error service and an error service which is usually a just a plain Java class and this one throws throw exception throws new illegal illegal state exception so and this is a like placeholder for all runtime exceptions uh, placeholder for all runtime. So um, so it throws the um, illegal set exception and the error facet injects the um, error service and the um, so there is a throw exception it's the same method and it just invokes service dot throw exception. So it's like uh, usually the facet will invoke several POJOs, but in this case it just invokes one. So and the resource has a method um, with uh, returns a message, and this listens listens to get and returns forty two. And here we inject the um, error facet. Facet. And here I would like just to cause the exception to happen. So I will just invoke the method throw. Okay, good enough. Now let's run it. Uh, just go with the uh, Payara. So here is it, and I would go resources and X. And you see the ugly exception. So this is like illegal state exception placeholder, which causes the 500. And this is even worse. It was wrapped to an um, EJB exception, and this one was wrapped into a servlet exception. So uh, what we could do in this place, so as de uh, described in the um, effective Java e course, we can just um, we could uh, implement an exception mapper and unwrap the EJB exception and so forth. But Let's assume the uh, REST endpoint is the only visible interface to the outside world. What we could do, we could implement our own exception, and this exception we could call, uh, let's say, uh, something functional like uh, inconsistent, consistent store exception or optimistic whatever. So it does not really matter. And now let's do something strange. So I would like to extend from web application exception which is part of um, JaxRes, and then just would like to implement a constructor and to show you the real power, I would like to choose a constructor with, uh, to override a constructor with the message and the status, like this. So we can uh, pass a method, uh, message and status, so I will just omit the status and just set something here. So let's say uh, status dot um, 
in progress there was let's say i don't know a bad request it doesn't really matter so i will just have to implement this so we will uh, hard code the status and expect a message and now what we can also do i could say okay you are an application exception and this application exception um, has to roll back a transaction or not it doesn't really matter but the nice story is if i, I use the application exception uh, it just will throw the exception as is without any wrapping so this is defined here so um, nice so let's go to our service back and instead of throwing this i would like to throw our inconsistent uh, store exception and then just retry and you can see bad requests so what we have we have fully control over the uh, status codes without any wrapping without any any uh, additional um, additional uh, work in the resources or even the services no no ceremony it's just no plain java code and uh, the only difference is um, our business exception inherit from web application exception which is a little bit dirty but uh, but uh, absolutely okay because usually we would be dependent on json and the um, rest a little bit anyway and the cool story is we could even say uh, this is actually we have full control over the exception handling it is actually absolutely okay and if i would just repeat that you will see is absolutely okay so there is actually no no error going on so um, it's just empty request so um thank you for watching and see you in upcoming um, conferences workshops so uh, ehex munich airport or the online course effective java or microservices yeah and see you even projects so enjoy java and bye